Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I got a little package from Italy today and they are my new Della Magna watercolors that I've ordered and I thought maybe we just unpack and it's not really an unboxing because it's not in the box but unpack them Together. They come with this little card that explains about them. And here are, I've ordered a few dot cards that I wanted to try out. And here is my extra well packed little. so we don't have all the plastic crackling. You have to give them this. They're very well packaged. Not that you'd think that anything would happen to them. Here, yeah, they come in this tiny little package. The last one I ordered was a bit... I ordered a few more pans. They're all sitting in my palette underneath here. There they are, but they were also packaged like this with a little bow. Wasn't that cute? I think it's very cute. Unpacking things on camera is much harder than it seems, is what I've learned. Especially when it's well packaged like this, if it's just like your run-of-the-mill Amazon delivery maybe a different story but these are very well packaged so they arrive in one piece and I can't get them out so here we have quinacridon orange genuine quinacridon orange PO 47 which you can't really get anymore here we have quinacridon gold PO 49 which is also not available from many of the big manufacturers anymore and a potter's pink PR 233 because I wanted the pot and tried it and try the potter's pink and I've got a dot of French ultramarine because I want to try the French ultramarine and because it's one of my favorite colors and kind of my benchmark then we have for free Armenia I it's a PR 102 and it looked interesting and we have native american catlinite which seems to be a genuine pigment and i've also got a limonite genuine that i haven't opened yet so that's from a previous order but i thought i'll throw, throw that in as well today so now i'll have to see i don't really know if i can fit them on here or if i'll just get another sheet You know what, we'll just, we'll do this over. Put this here. Here they are, my previous ones. This is Ultramarine Violet, Genuine Smalt, Bohemian Golden Ochre, Orange Ochre from Sardinia. Um, oh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, genuine red lava from Armenia, I think. And here is um, genuine magnetite. Well, is it genuine? It's magnetite anyway. So okay, let's unpack all these. I might speed all of this up. these just like little sweets they are very adorable but I think I might actually um, speed this up and unpacking these up it's a bit fiddly so we'll see There we 
go. They're really nicely filled. And they have a little sticker on them, so you know what the pigment is, which I really appreciate. They're all unpacked. I will just wet them very quickly a little bit. So let's see. In all fairness, I'm not super happy with this swatch card anyway, so you know what? I'm just going to get a new sheet of paper. Recheck all of this, make sure we've got everything visible. I'll just pop these here and get the palette out of the way. Do we still have enough light? difficult to see. So let's start with the genuine lemonade. And you've seen I've just added a tiny little bit of water on top there. And it just came to life really beautifully. A lovely color. I do think it's a lovely color. So, here's the real star of the show. This is the reason why I've discovered Della Mania in the first place because Elisabetta from Watercolor with Elizabeth Elisabetta. Is it just that what is that's what it's called what her channel is called? I will link her channel in the description. I must remember to link her cha channel in the description. But she found or was pointed to Della Mania for the genuine Queen Gold. Because the pigment is not manufactured anymore or has gone out of fashion in the car industry you can't find it in big quantities anymore so this is the quinacridone orange po 47 i think and this one it's maybe a little bit more bit more water oh there we go now and this is also Not available as a color from the big paint manufacturers anymore and I think the reason why handmade watercolor companies can still oh isn't that lovely can still do this because there's still small quantities knocking about from some pigment manufacturers sellers probably just not huge quantities that uh, big paint manufacturer would use and so that's why you can still get them from the smaller ones and if you've watched my 100 day project swatches I've swatched I've used a few Della Mania colors for mixes now and I always say they're quite affordable this is the potter's pink isn't that lovely that rewet really easily as well potter's pink has a reputation for sometimes being a bit tricky but this was not tricky at all it just rewrite beautifully and you know what i 
completely forgot that I actually meant to have the other swatches on here as well. Never mind. We just will keep going. So, I hope the light isn't a problem. The sun is coming from right from behind me at the moment. So I haven't turned on the daylight lamp because it's actually bright enough. But I hope it doesn't wreak havoc. So this is the Native American Catlinite, Catlinite. I don't know how you pronounce this because I've never come across this pigment before. So this is kind of a surprise. This was one, this was a bonus. I didn't order this one. That was just a bonus that they popped into my order. Isn't that nice as well? And the pigment is, it's in, not available, so it must be a genuine, like, stone mineral pigment with a name like that. You would expect that. But it's beautiful. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the next one is the porphyry, or I don't know how you would pronounce that. Hang on, I'll hold, I'll hold the dot up to the camera. Can you see the name? I hope the camera focuses on the name. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but it looked on the swatches on the website, it looked absolutely amazing. And I thought I need to try that. It's um, PR102. I think in the swatches, it reminded me a bit of my Roman Schmal Caput Mortum, just with more granulation. And so I guess we need to give this a bit more water so that it can do its thing here. That is amazing. I do like that. And it's really, they are generous dots. I'll show you the French Ultramarine now, but it's is similar in size to the one that I just swatched. So there's plenty of pigment here that's so that you can use, use those and figure out if you want to. Buy the bigger ones. So if you just want to really just want to try them and try them out, you can just buy a whole lot of dots. I might do that, but not right now. I'll do that when the 100 day project is over. I don't need more. I don't need to throw more potentially interesting pigments into the mix. The potter's pink is certainly going to make an appearance very soon, I think. So and yes, as I said, the ultramarine is just, I just need to figure out where that, how that compares to all the ultramarines that I have. I have a silly amount of ultramarine blues. I mean, to a certain extent, every time you buy a, a palette, you'll get an ultramarine. But you know what? I'm getting my palette out up. And I'm swatching the other ones that I already had as well, so you can see those. They're sitting loosely in my palette at the moment, so that's why they're making so much noise when I swatch them. So this is the ultramarine violet that I have had for a couple of Three weeks, I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a few. Which is a gorgeous color and pigment. The next one is one of my absolute favorites. It's the Genuine Smalt. Which is very, very granulating. It's just a lovely color. And these ones that were sitting in my palette, I haven't pre wet these at all. So those are, this is what you get when you go in with a paintbrush. This is the color payout you have. So the next one is the Bohemian Gold Golden Ochre. I keep calling it Bavarian. It's Bohemian, not Bavarian. Man, I need to remember that. And this is also lovely. This is a 
a contender for my yellow ochre Rasiana spot in my palette, I guess. I mean, it is a yellow ochre, it's PY43. So then we have the orange ochre, which is a PBR7, I think. It's also a lovely color. It's not, it doesn't have massive, a massive amount of granulation, but it's still lovely, a lovely brown. And this one, I think I want to mix sticks in this one with ultramarine blue. They will come up in my 100 day project in the next few weeks as well. Just like 38 days left, 37 days left. Tomorrow is day 63. Today was. Oh, somebody should have told me that I'm not on camera. I'm sorry. So this is the. I've forgotten again. Genuine, genuine lava from Armenia. I think it's PR 102. Hang on, let me see if I can see what it says. I think it says PR 102 on my swatch. Or oh, red lava, red lava from Armenia. I'm pretty sure it's PR 102. And this is also that has a lovely granulation. I hope the sun isn't messing up. The light too much, and this is the genuine magnetite. And I do really need to. I've got some strong a strong magnet somewhere. I need to really find them and try. Rearranging the pigment with the magnet because the pigment is magnetic, so you can get it to move with a magnet, which is kind of really interesting. And this just granulates wildly, it's just it's magnificent. just magnetic so here we are let's swatch them all I will label them all and put up a photo on the community tab once these are all dry but they aren't dry yet and I want to let them dry naturally so yeah my lovely lovely new and new wish i've had not had those for so long Delamania watercolors i hope you enjoyed the unboxing and swatching i'll pop a link to Delamania to the Delamania shop in the description below i'm not sponsored by them i've bought all of these for, with my own money so this is just something i genuinely think is good and for handmade watercolors with in some cases kind of rare pigments or pigments that you don't find everywhere they're actually not all that expensive they are more expensive obviously a little bit more expensive but as i said you can you can get the dots and they're they're quite generous i don't know if you how well the camera picks them up how much paint there is on the on the dot card but it is a generous dot card so you can get quite a few different colors and test them out and have enough paint there to do a few paintings and see if you like them or not without having to spend too much money. So thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy watching people swatch and play around with their watercolors because that's mostly what I do at the moment. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye now. Bye.